Why are we here? It's a simulation. We're being tested. The test is, will you be dumb enough to create super intelligence and release it? So the objective function is not be dumb enough to kill ourselves. Yeah, you're unsafe. Prove yourself to be a safe agent who doesn't do that, and you get to go to the next game. The next level of the game? What's the next level? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't hacked the simulation yet. Well, maybe hacking the simulation is the thing. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> and if physics would be the way to do that. Quantum physics, yeah. Maybe we're supposed to be giving a message to our creator. Maybe we're supposed to somehow create some kind of a quantum mechanical system that alerts them to our intelligent presence here. Because if you think about it from their perspective, it's just, say, like quantum field theory, massive, like, cellular automaton-like thing. And, like, how do you even notice that we exist? You might not even be able to pick us up in that simulation. And so how do you, uh, how do you prove that you exist, uh, that you're intelligent and that you're part of the universe? So this is like a Turing test for intelligence from Earth? Yeah, like uh, the uh, creator is, uh, I mean, maybe this is uh, like trying to complete the next word in a sentence. This is a complicated way of that. Like yeah. Earth is just, is basically sending a message back. Yeah, the puzzle is basically like alerting the creator that we exist. Yeah. Uh, or maybe the puzzle is just to uh, just break out of the system and just, uh, you know, uh, stick it to the creator in some way. Uh, it's possible that physics has exploits and we should be trying to find them. Uh, arranging some kind of a crazy quantum mechanical system that somehow gives you buffer overflow, uh, somehow gives you a rounding error in the floating point. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. How did it happen that we exist at exactly like the most interesting 20, 30 years in the history of this civilization? It's been around for 15 billion years, yeah. and that here we are. I've, I've spent quite a bit of time over the past few years, and a lot more recently, in virtual worlds. And just am always captivated by the possibility of creating higher and higher resolution worlds. And uh, as we'll talk a little bit about artificial intelligence, sort of the, the advancement on the Sora front, you can automatically generate those worlds. And the, the possibility of existing in those automatically generated worlds is pretty exciting. As long as there's a consistent physics, quantum mechanics, and general yep. relativity that governs the generation of those worlds. Yep. The beings that created the simulation probably have not created the simulation that's realistic for them. But we're in the simulation, and so it's realistic for us. So we could create a simulation that is fine for the people in the simulation, as right. it were, that would not necessarily be fine for us as the creators of the simulation. But if you were stuck in a video game, you would, you would try everything, and usually you're going to find a door or a space where the designers didn't uh, anticipate you piling all those crates up and getting over a wall that they didn't expect. If I was creating a simulation, I would want the possibility to escape it to be there. So the possibility of foom, of a, of a takeoff where the agents become smart enough to escape the simulation would be the thing I'd be waiting for. The simulation argument, sometimes it gets um, it mixed. There's kind of two distinct things that we need to consider. One is the probability that we live in so-called base reality, that we're not living in a simulated reality itself. And another probability we need to consider is the probability that that technology is viable or possible and something we will ultimately choose to one day do. And those are two distinct things. They're probably quite similar numbers to each other, but they are distinct probabilities. So in my, in my paper I, I, I wrote about this, I just try to work through the problem. I teach astrophysics, actually teaching it this morning. And so it just seemed like a fun case study of working through a Bayesian calculation for it. Um, Bayesian calculations work on conditionals. And so when you hear, you know, what kind of inspired this project was when I heard Musk said was like a, a billion to one chance that we don't live in a simulation. Mm -hmm. um, he's right if you add the Bayesian conditional and the basic conditional is as conditioned upon the fact that we eventually develop that technology and choose to use it. I'm just going to take a stand here. I think that because people... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sick of fucking playing it halfway. I think that because people live indoors in climate-controlled boxes in cities far away from nature, they've completely lost track of everything that's real, and they've mm -hmm. started to think that we're living inside of a simulation. Notice that nobody carrying an alpaca up a mountain thinks that we're living inside of a video game. No. They all know that it's real because yeah. they've had babies on the floor of a cold hut. Yeah. They understand the consequences of life. They understand the fish and how hard it is to get them and the basic rules of the wind and the rain and the river and that we all have to play by those and that it's 
and and you talk to a talk to a grieving mother and ask her if she's living inside a video game and it's like the people to me this this whole thing of oh are we living in a simulation to me that's a that's that's the that's the infirmary of of society starting to that to starting to 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 to, to, to parody itself. It's, it's yeah. people going, I have no meaning in my life anymore. So is this even real? And again, yeah. go ask the Sherpa, go ask the Eskimo. Some people think, in fact, the whole universe is a computer of some sort. Yes. And they believe that perhaps everything, therefore, is a simulation. Yes. I don't think so. I don't think that there is a super video game where we are nothing but puppets dancing on the screen and somebody hit the play button and here we are talking about simulations. Yeah. No, even Newtonian mechanics says that the weather, the simple weather is so complicated with trillions upon trillions of atoms that it cannot be simulated in a finite amount of time. In other words, the smallest object which can describe the weather and simulate the weather is the weather itself. The smallest object that can simulate a human is the human itself. And if you add quantum mechanics, it becomes almost impossible to simulate it with a conventional computer. Because quantum mechanics deals with all possible universes, parallel universes, a multiverse of universes, and so the calculation just spirals out of control. Now, there, at so far, there's only one way where you might be able to argue that the universe is a simulation. And this is still being debated by quantum physicists. It turns out that if you throw the encyclopedia into a black hole, the information is not lost. Eventually, it winds up on the surface of the black hole. Now, the surface of the black hole is finite. In fact, you can calculate the maximum amount of information you can store in a black hole. It's a finite number. It's a calculable number, believe it or not. Now, if the universe were made out of black holes, which is the maximum universe you can conceive of, each universe, each black hole has a finite amount of information. Therefore, ergo, da da, ergo, the total amount of information in a universe is finite. This is mind boggling. This I consider mind boggling, that all possible universes are countable and all possible universes can be summarized in a number, a number you can write on a sheet of paper, all possible universes, and it's a finite number. Now, it's huge, it's, it's a number beyond human imagination. It's a number based on what is called a Planck length, but it's a number. And so if a computer could ever simulate that number, then it would, the universe would be a simulation.